I've always been curious as to why things are the way they are, and I think I've always been interested in the things that often get overlooked, which is, I think, why I'm interested in the slime mould. It's a little organism, it's something that you know, most people know nothing about, um, but there are pockets of research and, and investigation from a scientific and an artistic point of view. The slime mould is attributed with ideas of intelligence primitive intelligence, but it is making decisions. The organism is basically like in a virtual reality situation, and we pick up its behavior and we map it back onto the robot. Why we are doing this with slime now? This is a way to do computation with organic substrates, with living substrates, not with silicon. It has no organs, no brain, so any intelligence it has is, just, is within this vein structure inside it. Can maybe an artistic interface between data and information, can we have something richer to convey this information? Interpreting the data as emotions. Really, this is moving from science to art. The main experiment that we want to run is to create a human slime mold. I would say that the meaning of intelligence perhaps needs to be redefined here a little bit. Not animal, not, not, not vegetable, not, not fungi. Slime mold. <laughs>